Welcome guys to another rather interesting video. This is not a ransom video, I swear. This is nothing strange and weird. If any of you guys saw the last video we did on this, uh, where we had Bailey in the hot seat and a selection of overdrive pedals, we're gonna do the same thing again today, mainly because we were just intrigued and Mark was actually up for it. Uh, so we've got Mark here, who you've probably seen in other videos. He's well into his delays and reverbs and ambience, so we thought we'd substitute those overdrives for some delay pedals. The three that we've got here today are ranging from affordable-ish, you know, delay's never that cheap, but it's, it's lower priced through to sort of mid-priced and, and something more high-priced that I'm sure you guys are all familiar with. Mark is certainly familiar with all of these three. We demo them on a daily basis. Um, the premise of this test is not to say that any one pedal is better than another or to say that expensive gear is overpriced or expensive gear is better and whatever. It's just to kind of highlight that interesting fact that sometimes price can make you believe something about a product before you've even tried it. And we would like to say, go and try the gear. We encourage you to come down, see us, bring your guitar, your amp. Today we've got Mark's left-handed Strat that he uses in store every day. It's his own demo guitar. Um, that we need to make sure is here so he can always demo a left-handed guitar and we've picked a Marshall amp that's very similar to the, the type of thing he uses at home. So yes, yeah, just to kind of encourage exploration for yourself and uh, make your own mind up, see what you think. So without further ado, we're going to get cracking and uh, by the way, we should say Mark has been blindfolded through the duration of the setup. Uh, we literally just brought him in as you can probably see. So he doesn't know what's here at all. Um, he knows he's in the shop still. Somewhere. <laughs> As you can see. So, right, pedal A, here we go, you ready? Okay. Let's do this. Pedal A, I'm gonna start with this one. <laughs> Okay, we're going to go pedal B. Okay? Okay. Pedal C. Okay, that sounds familiar. Okay, okay. I'm just gonna say at this point, like the overdrive test we did, I spent some time with these pedals beforehand to deliberately try and dial them in um, as close as I can so they sound relatively similar. And also to kind of iron out any of the, the quirks or the, the, the cool things that m might make you want to buy one of these pedals. I'm deliberately trying to get rid of all of that, so we're just listening to the pure sound quality that we're getting from this. All right? Okay. Okay, so we're going to go again, yeah? Yeah. I'll keep them in the same order. Pedal A. Okay, pedal B. Okay. Okay. He's being quite methodical in his approach here, <laughs> playing the same thing. All right, pedal C. Okay. listening for out of interest i'm just trying to hear to the returns like okay. pedal a mm. that to me sounds like the carbon copy right okay it's got a much warmer return and then i'm just trying to listen to the kind of cleanness of the repeat like that like to me i think that sounds a bit strymony okay you don't have to guess what they are no remember. but it's just like that sort of thing so to me um 
I feel like... Uh, da, 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 da. Let's okay. go once no, more. No, no, no. Okay. Let's yeah, get, this is yeah, what I did yeah, to yeah. Bailey. So you, you're kind of approaching a decision. Okay. If we just go once more, same order, and like a quick fire, all right? Maybe okay. just like a little stab or a couple of chords or something. Yeah. Pedal A. Pedal okay. B. Okay. Pedal C. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Right. So the big question, the big question, which was your favourite? A, B, or um, C? I liked B or C. B or I C. I think I like. <laughs> I think I liked C. You like C? Yeah. Okay. I think. Okay. Yeah. You I, think? I, I, f I feel like some, it sounds like an analog delay, a real yeah. analog delay okay. A with warmer repeats. Yeah. B felt good. It was quite a clean delay. I still like that. Mm. And then C, I don't know. I like C. I you think like it's C. C, yeah. Okay. Do you want to go on B and C again or are you, are you going to stick with? Yeah, one more time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So B was... Um, um, which one was it? Um, yeah, there you go. Sure, that okay. was B. That was B. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Just, uh, and that was. Yeah, uh, I, I, yeah. I like that one. You like that one? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay, do you want to take blindfold off? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh no, I own one of these pedals. Okay, so there is a double whammy to this one. <laughs> Please. Oh, Three pedals no. we got. Ibanez Analog Delay, the AD. This thing is under a hundred pound. Fantastic delay unit, really captures that analog spirit at a great price, saves space. Everybody knows this guy, MXR Carbon Copy, currently 140, 150 pounds, something like that. Um, fantastic analog delay i've deliberately left the modulation off all of these i've turned there's a little bit you can't quite iron it out so i had to t tame the strymon back a little bit yeah, yeah to yeah. try and make it sound you know as close to these of course yeah the aforementioned strymon el capistan one of the best sort of analog tape echo emulations on the market yeah and your delay of choice please tell me i like that one they were Pedals, A, B, oh, and C. No. He went for the carbon copy. Oh, I don't even he like the carbon, the carbon copy. You don't even like the carbon no. copy. You clearly do. Oh. I even gave you, I even on that last attempt that we did, because I, I suddenly heard that maybe this was sounding a little bit brighter, like you said. Yeah, yeah. I even darkened this a little bit. Yeah, I have to admit, like I did hear that. I, it did smidge, sound different. But you still went for that. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's disappointing. That's disappointing. But, but like I say at the beginning, it's not. It's not. A f it's a bit of fun. It's not a fair test because no. what you're forgetting is the. I mean, hit a chord. Hit a chord on the. Screen. <laughs> There's so many other reasons yeah. why you would buy what you like. Exactly. We're just bringing it down to just a real snapshot test Tap of the sound, being one nice. setting. But it's funny, isn't it? Yeah, how, 100%. Yeah, yeah how I mean, me and you both own that. Yeah. And we absolutely researched into it, looked into it. We kind of made our mind up on it mm. before we even bought it, didn't we? Exactly. And I've tried that like numerous times. And written it off. And, and don't like it. And, and you don't just like picked it. it. I did. Yeah. I... There you go, folks. Make of that what you will. Come on down, try some pedals, have some fun. Wear that sweaty old balaclava if you want. And uh, yeah, see you next time. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I 100% could hear the returns. And I was like, I was like, he's striving. Yeah. I'm disappointed. <laughs> I don't like the carbon coffee. Every time I, I tried it, it, I don't like it. And I heard it, and I was like, nah, that's the striving. That's the striving. Got it. One of my own. I do. I even own it. <laughs> <laughs>